What's going on, guys? It is Inkbike Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Pokemon Fusions. In this episode, we're going to be fusing uh, Pokemon with the face of Beldum. Just because, you know, Beldum looks like it could be an alien itself on Pokemon. Like, it's taking on the forms of different Pokemon. So we have Beloxis. And actually, this looks pretty cool in my book. With the one eye as the Deoxys form. It looks pretty cool to me. Don't you guys think? I think so. Uh, let's randomize the body again. Let's see what we can get. Wait, why did it... Why did it just do that? This looks pretty cool, but why did it just do that? It just randomized both Pokemon. That's not what I want. That is not what I want. And I just see, I had this all set up perfect and whatnot. And you go ahead and you mess it up. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I had this all set up perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And you go and fuck it up. Jesus Christ. All right. So we got a bel bel Belser? Belser. Now that, I'm just going to be saying all this episode, that is cool. That is indeed cool. But now I'm going to randomize the body, and hopefully it just randomizes the body. All right. We got Bellacuno. Eh, this one doesn't look as cool, but it's all right. Articuno's already all blue, so I can't go about the color scheme. We got a bell skit. Now, it's it's cool to the fact that Beldum, like its eyeball, is just one uh, round circular thing, like appendage, basically. Let's see what else we can get. We got a bell Reno. It looks like it's got a little little beak thing on on its uh, its face there. Towards like the side of the eyeball, it looks, it looks like it could be some like, it could be like, go around the eyeball, and it looks like bat wings. This it ju just all over. That's a good one. That's a good one. Let's see what else we get. We got a belly on. Now again, cool. That is cool. Uh, um, what is, what is this Pokemon? A Kecleon. A Kecleon with a Beldum face? That is cool. Come on, are you gonna lo load it in? Or are you just gonna, like, leave it as a blank square? Apparently we'll never know what a belly looks like. So, we'll go on to something else. A bell nun. A bell nun. Eh. Ain't that super cool, but cool enough. We got a bell doom. A bell doom. Now that is very scary. Again, shoot. It would be like shooting fire, fire, uh, flamethrowers out of its eyeball. Or like laser beams. A bell reap. It's a it's a bell beldum sheep. Now that is cool. That is cool. A bell chew. A bell chew. I love how the tips of the tail on the end there. They stayed the yellow because they couldn't, like, make it all fucking blue. But that is cool. That is cool. A bell disc. Nah, I ain't feeling this one. This one looks super goddamn weird. Okay, randomize. I hit it. A bell top. A bell top. Ah. Uh, eh. 
A bell road. A bell road. They should have just like moved the, the face above where the blue was, and it would look all right. It just looks weird in the center of there. Bell Chan. Now that again, if the eye, like the face was shifted, it would look pretty cool. Actually, no. If you think about it, you know, with it having the fist like that, it looks like it's looking that way. Like it's gonna punch, it's gonna jab to the left. That looks pretty cool. A bell Brian. You can very faintly see the rings, just very faintly. Like it's it's like there's some of them there, but some of them are not. A bell pin. Eh. Eh, meh. A bell bateau. A bell bateau. Uh, this one's alright as well. I don't know. A bell lat. Oh my god. I do like the blue and the white there. That is cool. That is cool. Let's see what else we can get. A bell drevis. It looks like just a Beldum, Beldum eyeball with a bunch of hair. It's like the Marge of, um, of Pokemon. A Bell Gnaw. A Bell Gnaw. That actually is pretty fucking cool. A Crocodile Beldum. A Beldum Crocodile. Randomize again, please. A bell turn. Now that is kind of scary when you think about it. It's a scarecrow, a metal scarecrow. Slicing your head right off. A blousey, belsey. That is cute. That is cute. I would just take that as cute ass Pokemon. A Beldahorn. Now that is a very cool name. A Bellhorn? A Bellhorn. Bell Bell Crops. Bell Crops. It's not that very, very different. It's just the face on a hair cross. The color scheme is kind of the same. We got a Bell Feroz. Now that is cool. The blue tail, that is cool. A bell turn. A bell turn. That looks like it can legit be a Pokemon. And it could be like... Because since, um... Isn't Lantern based off of like a, um, a really deep sea uh, fish? I don't know the name of the fish. But it uses like light to attract fish. Now wouldn't this, like, the fusion be like, you can go even, swim even deeper in the ocean and catch prey that way? I feel like that's a thing. A Beldequil. Actually, I... See, I don't like the Beldum face, but the color scheme for Cynical, that would be pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. I actually legit like that. I like that. A bell tight. A bell tight. It's bell tight. Don't, don't, don't. Don't hate on me. Don't hate on me. But a bell tight. That's alright. A bell vada. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Okay, gonna randomize again. A belt? Eh, looks cool. A bell rion. A bell rion. Now that actually looks pretty, pretty, 
Like, like just the like. I understand that um, Vaporeon is like a blue, but this is like a darker blue. It makes it seem like it would fit in in the deep sea because it's deep, like dark blue. A bellbird. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, all right. A blist Bellster. Wait, have we seen Bellster? I feel like we started this episode where I had the mess up, and and I have already seen this. But I actually I like that. A bell. Ta 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 ta. A bell ta ta. It looks like it has a mouth. Where, where, you know, where the end of the face is? It looks like there's a mouth. A bell dash. A bell dash. That is cool. The blue flames, that is cool. A belder. Uh, a belder? It's like bender, but belder. That's cool. I'm sorry. Going place where I should Eh, it looks alright. A bell doll. Now that looks cool. But, little circle things makes it looks like it's got nipples. It looks like it's got nipples. I'm just gonna point that out, throw that out there. It looks like it's got nipples. Okay, randomize again. We got a bell tox. Now this looks awesome. A bell tox? That is cool. I know I use I use the term cool a lot, but I can't help it. But that looks very unique and cool. <laughs> a billing! This is like the fusion that This is literally what we thought Matang would look like when it evolved. We thought it was gonna keep like its one eyeball. You know what? I want. I want. Okay, we got Belling, but I want to see. Okay, since we're here, that is cool. A Belgros. That actually looks pretty cool. Not gonna lie. They could have kept literally the one eye, and it would have been super dope. Okay, randomize it again. A Bell Tooth. That actually looks like a like it could be a legit. Again, any Pokemon with Beldum's head can look from outer space, basically. A Beldactyl. Now this looks kind of scary. That actually looks kind of scary. A Bell, a Bellum, a Bellum. Like Annabellum. Bellum. Uh, that could be a thing. That could be a thing. A bell duo. Anything with uh, the Dodrio? Is it a Dodrio? Is that the name of this Pokemon? A Dodrio? A Doduo. The Doduo. Anything with this, it just like. It's a conjoined twin, and one of it had the, like, the parents' genes. And then the other one had like some of the other parent. And it's like the conjoined twins like just just do it for mom. Just be proud of what you are. And like the other head's like, do you love me? And it's like, just do it for mom. Just do it for mom. Alright, let's see what we get. A bell mite. I actually like it's not a very much change from a magnemite. But, I do in like, the red eyeball and the blue color scheme. I actually like that. A bell dude. Now that looks cool. That looks really cool. A bell, bell tilt. I like the color scheme on a squirrel. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, we've seen Belter. A Bell Sola. A Bell Sola? 
Uh, this one's alright. Ain't the best. Okay, gonna do like three more after this one. A bell, a bell Ursa. And it's cute and adorable. It's cute. Okay, so we got one. A bell, bell Envy. Eh, I'm very uncomfortable with that. It doesn't have a trunk. Very uncomfortable with that. Two. We've already seen a bell pen. Two. A bell devour. That would be kind of scary. That would be kind of scary. Be like a special. It would be special slash visual. A special slash visual. Physical. Gardevoir here. A bell Kata. It's alright. We're gonna do one more. One more. Then we're gonna end the episode. A bell buskin. Now that is cool. A bell buskin. Imagine that. Imagine that thing running up on you and like starting to like hit you with its claws and see. Doesn't doesn't uh it get metal claw by, by level up? That would be pretty cool. I know I think Charmander gets metal claw by level up, I think. I don't know if that was done away with in third gen, I don't know. I don't really play with Charmander that much as much as I, I again I'm a Gen 1er, but like when it comes to Pokemon I try and go to my favorites in Charmander. It, it's there as my favorite, but I really don't use it. Uh, but I'm gonna end the episode here. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time in the next video. Bye-bye!